add yum on here and I'm going to show you how to do this but I want to start coloring my page and I don't want to draw it in black so this is just so that you can see it what I did is I wrote the letters nice and big Y and then U and then M and then to make them wider I just drew squiggles that were close to that line so I think I'm going to put this up here in the corner but I want to use purple for my Y and I'm going to do a nice big Y and I'm tilting mine just because I like tilted letters you can have your straight okay don't worry about changing those I'm gonna have a red U so I'm gonna draw a big U and I'm not gonna worry about if are they are they even because this is fun and then I am going to do a blue M and I'm gonna do nice big letters so you can put things that you like. Maybe you want to label them and say what your favorite dessert is. Maybe you want to write cookie and hot chocolate and candy. All right. So if you want to add other things, maybe you want to draw an extra cookie behind your front cookie. Maybe you want to add some more candies. Um, and we're just going to uh, decorate the cupcake any way that you want. What color frosting do you like? What's your favorite flavor? Even if you're not a cake person, you probably have a favorite flavor. So for my letters, in order to make them nice and thick, I can just go across those lines that I wrote and I'm just making little circly lines. So little bitty circles. And I'm just gonna come around here and circle, 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 all the way up, twisty little circles to make my lines look a little thicker, a little bit more interesting. So I'm gonna just finish those up with those circles and you can see compared to the other two letters, this is a little bit wider and more fun. You could also just make your letters really thick if you like, but um, I kind of like the texture so when we're dealing with texture and flavor of our foods, that's all going to be about what color that we're using. And so what you want to do for um, this one, if you um, are in class, you can fill it out on a card. Please make sure you put your name on it. And if you're turning it in online, you can add it to the chat or um, uh, you can also write it when you do your assignment submission. But um, tell me which one of these is your favorite dessert. And the hard part is going to be what kind of texture is it? So texture is how things feel or how we think they should feel. So we want to try to explain that. We want to use descriptive language. So um, texture takes a little bit of thought. We know that we know how it tastes. We know that it's sweet. but is it crunchy or smooth or uh, is there another word that you use to describe it? Um, uh, is it uh, something that is your favorite? Is it super, super um, thick? So maybe it's thin, maybe in the case of the candies, uh, what are they? Are they chewy? So think of some different words that you can, uh, you can use to describe your favorite item. So your job is going to be to tell me which one was your favorite and the texture of your favorite food item that you drew today. So we're going to go ahead and color in and um, I'm going to go ahead and color my pictures. Go ahead and color yours and we'll see what we look like at the end. So I can't wait to see your compositions. Take your time in coloring. Maybe you want to add some rainbows and stripes on your candies. I'm going to go ahead and start to color mine. All right, so I'm going to color, and I'm going to use light color to start with, like on my cookie. I want to have a brown cookie, but I don't want it to be super, super brown. What I'm going to do is use a light touch so that I can make my cookie kind of light. Maybe I'm going to come in and add a little bit of darkness around my edges. But if I make the whole thing dark, then I can't come in and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and make my, I'll do all my coloring with light coloring first. I'm barely even touching the paper and I'm being super, super gentle. And then what I'm going to do is um, finish up all that and then come in and add some extra color where I want things to pop and be a little bit more darker color like our yum letters are. So I'm going to go ahead and color that way.